Welcome back, Unicorns, to another video. In today's video is another Face Mask Friday video, so if you want to see what mask I use today and hear all the information, stay tuned. So today, me and Lori, which is Lori Latimer's sister, fantastic, here on YouTube, we're going to be doing a face mask together. Um, we're both going to be doing a mud mask. She's doing a different brand, but we decided to do a mud mask this week. She was trying to look for one from the same brand, but couldn't find one. I told her it was fine. You could use any brand you want. This will be just a mud mask in video. So, yeah. So, I picked the one from my collection. It's by Hava. It's Time to Clear per Time to Clear Purifying Mud Mask Clear. And I really want to try this because I quite tried their cleanser and really loved it. So, when I got this, I was happy to try it out. So, um... So this mud mask is a, nat a unique blend of natural dead sea mud and minerals. This gentle mask deeply clarifies and purifies the skin. It pur provides renewed refreshness and smoother complexion. Apply to face, avoid eye area, rinse after two minutes. Um, approves for sensitive skin, allergy tested, and SLS and SLES free. So it says two minutes, but hmm, I wanted to really want to do something else while this mask is on. So what I might do is do the other part while the mask is on, and then um, after the two minutes is up, then I will take it off. But I love how this is a quick mask. So if you need a really quick mask for the day, really recommend this one. Um, I will link it down below if you want to get it for yourself. I think I got this in frame mail, so I'm so happy about it. So I'm going to go apply it, apply the timer, which is going to be a quick one. Or I might not apply the timer. I might just check the little clock up here. And um, then rinse it off and then come back and tell you how my skin feels and then finish what I have to do. So I'm going to go apply this now, and I'll be right back. So while this mask is on for the two minutes, I'm going to quickly do a video showing some of my new favorites in my collection and some flops. And one of, one of them is going to be like a flop, but not a complete flop. And the other one's maybe a complete, complete flop for me. And flop means I didn't really like and enjoy, and they're because of the scents. So since I only have a little bit of the ones that I did not like this month, I'll tell, show those first, and then after I get shown those, I'll go rinse this off because this is a two minutes mask, and I don't want to keep it on any longer because I do have sensitive skin. So the first one is by Juice Beauty. It's the or 
Organic Solution SPF 30 Oil Free Moisturizer. And I got this in friend mail. I was so happy to try this brand because a lot of people said this was a good brand. But I'm still going to use this product because I don't want to waste it. But I do not like the scent of this product. So let me know if you tried this and let me know if you had the same problem. It does not smell good to me. It doesn't smell like SPF. It smells really weird. It kind of smells like a cleanser I used before. So I don't know what is in the that that makes it smell that bad. And um, I just opened this. It wasn't like an old product. And it says 12 months. And it hadn't been 12 months yet. But I'll keep using that even though I don't like the smell of it. But let me know if you tried that product before. It's formulated with organic ingredients. And it says at the top of this it's vegan or is it quality free which seems really nice i just don't like the smell of it but i love to know hear y'all's thoughts on it but i'm still going to use these products anyways even though i don't like them so the next product is the setting spray it's by um i can't remember the name of oh, cannot speak um Gariata? i don't know how to say this brand but if you see the box packaging you might know the packaging but this is the same spray I got in some friend mail. And I do not know the scent of this. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to be green tea, mint. But I really don't like the scent. It's really strong. Um, I was going to open it and smell it. But I just don't know what the scent is. I don't know if it's cucumber green tea. But I just don't like it. It gives me a headache when I spray it. Um, I've used this much of it so far. But I try not to use a lot. Um, so, yeah. And I really wanted to like that one. Because a lot of people say... That's a good setting spray. It works really good. It's just a smell. And it don't linger anything. It's just right when you apply it. It's the most, um, you know, you smell it the most. But when it's in dries, you don't smell it at all after. But I just didn't like the smell of it when I was spraying it. And the next one is another one that I didn't like the smell. It's by Elf Plus. It's their skincare line, I think. It's the Glow Dewy Mist. It's um, coconut and ar ar argan oil. Um, the reason why is I don't really like coconut smell because it gives me a headache, but the last doesn't last long, but I really love the glowy effect it gives after the fact, so I'm still going to be using this, and I already used this much of it, which, um, is really good, um, but I really enjoy it to give myself a glowy skin, and I usually do that as my moisturizer, um, so yeah, I'm still going to use that even though it doesn't, I don't like the smell of it. But it doesn't linger or anything. It's just right when you apply it. So those are my flops for the month. I'm going to go rinse this off. Tell y'all um, my thoughts on this mask. Um, giving y'all like um, how my skin feels. And then I'll be showing some of my favorites this month. So I got it all off. And my skin feels so soft. Um, and it'll be a little red. Like on my nose and my cheeks. Because I do have sensitive skin. That was me from taking it off. But it was easy to take off. And I see I missed a spot. And what I usually do is I use these rounds from um, Eco Tools to help to get the mask off better. And it's easy and mess free. Um, and then you could use these up to like three or four times and then you can throw them out. But you just rinse what with water to get all the product out. And they're a really good tool, so I really recommend them. If I remember, if I don't, they're from Eco Tools. But if I remember, I'll link it down below if you want to get um, little rounds to get the mask off. But my skin is a little tacky, but that should go away once the you know product is absorbed into my skin. But I really did enjoy this mask and happy that I tried it out. Um, and I love that this is a clearing mask. So if I do have a breakout, because I do get breakouts sometimes, like close to that time of the month, if you're a girl, you know, um, that I can use these. I always love using a mud mask or a charcoal mask during those times to help clear it up better so i really recommend them and i recommend this mask i will link it down below so um yeah i really did enjoy it if you want to see mary i mean not mary i don't know why i said mary if you want to see Lori's mask see what she uses this week make sure you go check her out so the next clip is going to be some of my favorites for the month but i did i wanted to mention i forgot to mention the last clip that some of these i tried like three or four months um, before I wanted to give a review on them and some of them are new so you know so let's talk about my favorites and I have a lot of them so hope you do enjoy them 
and I'll make sure to link all of them down below, all my favorites and their flops, so if you want to get them out and try them yourself, you can. So let's get on with one of my favorites for the month. And another thing, reason why I want to do it, because I haven't done a favorites in a while, and I wanted to share some new products I got and give you updates on them, so that's why I want to do it. So, yeah, um, I don't do them a lot, because some of them, I don't get new favorites, or I don't get enough favorites, but I love telling y'all about them, and... Sometimes, um, you'll know on my empties, because in my empties will be my favorites, because if I used it all, I loved it, or I, I'll let you know if I didn't love it and just how to use it. So, the first thing is from e.l.f. Plus, is the Glow Primer Stick, and it's from the same line as the spray, and I do have another one that's a moisturizer I haven't opened yet, because I have a lot of moisturizer to open, but this is just a stick like this and it implies more like a lotion type so you just blend it out with your fingers that's what i do after i apply i blend it out with my fingers and it's very hydrating so and it has the same line the coconut and shea butter but you don't really smell those ingredients as much as a spray does but i love the glowy effect and i love using it under like matte foundations because i love a glowy base when i try them the mattes but i do try it under other foundations as well but that's what mainly i use this for and I really do enjoy it. I'm new to uh, primer sticks, so I was happy to try this out. And I got this in a giveaway swap. I think it was from Andrea. Not, yeah. Andrea from Yo Andrea um, here on YouTube. She was so sweet to gift it to me in a box swap that we did. So let's get on with the next product, which will be another primer stick, which I will say in this clip before I pause it. It's the one I got from Timu. And this one's more like a mattifying pore filling, which are the other ones just hydrating. So if you do want to try this one out, I'll link it down below. I do have a code for them, but it has to be for new users. But if you do want to use that if you're a new user to Timu, um, I really recommend this. But I really do enjoy this primer. At first, I didn't like it, but I had to blend out with my fingers. And then I noticed it filling my pores in and stuff. So that's why I recommend just blend it after you apply it with a stick. Just blend it with your fingertips to the warm thing your fingertips to let it blend in your skin better and this one is a pore filling one it's really good i really do love it and it's off of timo like i say so it's k beauty brand um i don't know if you can get this brand anywhere else but this is the brand of the product um but i really did enjoy it and i'm still using it so yeah those are the primer sticks i love this month now let's talk about the next thing so i had another primer i just saw but this one's from yensa it's the color Plus Face Toner Tone Up Primer Essential Glow, and this is a new, the newest one in my collection. I just opened up, and I got this from Nat. I think I can't remember. I think I got it from Nat, from Natalie Suzanne here on YouTube. And Yens is a really good brand. I have their um, BB or their Serum Foundation. I can't remember what the name is. I got from Ipsy, so I was happy to try this out because I love that brand. They're the same brand that made Perlise, and I just love this brand so much. It's K-Beauty, but it's this primer is moisturizing. It preps skin for makeup, blurs imperfection and pores, provides bright skin tone, powered by eight super block, block, black, super black essence. I don't know what that is, but you just, I just love this so much. It's really hydrating, and I could tell a difference when I apply it when I um, don't apply it because it really is it really does give your skin a glow but it does blur some imperfections you have I don't really have a lot of them but yeah I could tell when I apply it so I really did enjoy that one so I'm gonna stick with makeup items since I did the toner the next new thing and everybody I mentioned I'll try to remember to link them down below if, if I can remember down at the bottom um, I like to mention channels I get stuff from, um, so you know where I got it from, just in case you want to know, but, um, I'll link their channels down below just in case you want to go watch them and show them some love, they're really good ladies. So the next thing, um, is a makeup sponge, it's the newest one in my collection, it's a little dirty because I did use it recently, but this one, I don't know what it came from, like the brand, because it just came like this, but Jennifer gifted it to me, and this is really soft on the skin and blends out really good it's like a marshmallow feeling and i really love it i think it works really good 
Hopefully I know the brand if she's watching this, if she watches my video, let me know. But I'll link her channel down below just in case you want to go check her out. As well as all the other ladies I mentioned. But she was so sweet to give me some birthday frame mail and that's where I got this from. So I want to talk about that because that was the newest in my collection. I did not like give y'all a proper review for it. So I just wanted to let y'all know about it. So let's get on with the next item. Which is two more makeup items and then... The rest will be skincare. So the next two favorite items came from Timu. It's this brow styling. It's by Sace Lady. I think that's how you say it. It's the brow styling. It's like their brow soap. And I really did enjoy this. And I did use it like the packaging. But somebody said to don't do it that way. Which I, the first time I tried it, I sprayed the spoolie that came with it. And then put it in the product. Um, but they said it worked better spraying the product. So I've been doing that and it works really well like better than um when i did it so thanks to whoever mentioned that i don't remember their name but i thanks for that so i really do appreciate it but i really did love using this um i love the natural effects getting my brows and i'm new to brow soap so i decided to try it out when i got it on my team order and the next thing i got from team is the i don't know how to say desi i think that's how you say the brand name but this is their um it's a foundation and it's like one of the bounce foundations, that's what I call it. But it's like the one that has a little seal over the top of the foundation. And you just put your brush in it and it comes out. But it did come with a little sponge. And this is what it looks like. It's just a box. It's the same as the box. I really did do love this. I love the natural effects it gives my skin. But it does cover well um, after a couple layers. And I love the natural it gives my skin too as well. Like, it doesn't really look like foundation on your skin, which is really nice. I really do enjoy this. And, yeah, I'll make sure to link these products down below just because you want to get them off of Timu. And if you are new to Timu, make sure to use my code to save some money on your order. I get a small commission, but not that much. But it does help out a lot if you do um, use it. But you don't have to. I will link the product itself. So, the next items are skincare items. So, let's talk about those. So these three are um, skincare items that are new to my collection. So the first one is the um, Doctor Scrubs. It's by Gold Fallon ND. I really do love this. Um, I don't use this a lot because I don't use a scrub a lot because my skin's sensitive. I think I use it like once a week or once every two weeks because my skin's very sensitive. But this works very well for sensitive skin. It did not bother my skin, and the little. Um, exfoliating products in it is not harsh on the skin i feel like it made my skin very soft which i really love i'm sorry i just hit the mic but i really do love this and it makes your skin very soft and glowy after so i really do recommend this um and i can't i'll be so sad to see this go but i do have other scrubs i need to try out that other people get off me i love doing a scrub to you know help my skin be soft I don't get dry skin. I have combo, but it's more oily than dry. But I do still love using a scrub now and then to, you know, help my skin. I think it will. And even if you have dry skin or oily skin, it does really help out that late first layer of skin to help, you know, dead skin cells on your skin to, you know, make your skin feel brighter and look smoother. So the next item I got is another one I got in my Ipsy bag. Yeah, this is, I don't know if I mentioned, but I got this in my Ipsy bag. Um, this one's a recent person, recent bag. And I just want to talk about it because I was so impressed by it. So it's by Corez. It's K-O-R-R-E-S. It's the Velvet Skin Drink. And I got this because I need another serum. I ran out of mine and I wanted to try it out. But that one is amazing. Instantly, my skin felt very soft when I applied it. I love the velvety feeling on my skin, and it was so soft. So if you need, like, a serum that instantly hydrates your skin and makes it soft, I really recommend that one. My skin was glowy, hydrated. It felt so soft. It blended amazing. It doesn't have a strong scent. And I love the little bottle it come in, a little dropper bottle so you can get it out. It's very liquidy, so I try to put it on my hand, but I quickly try to apply it on my face. But you can also dot some on your face if you do that. Um, but I just apply it on my hand and be quick about it when I do it on my face so it doesn't go through my hand or everywhere. Because it's very liquidy, but it's really good serum. I really do recommend it if you want to try it out. If you see this brand, I'm new to the brand. I just saw it on Ipsy and really want to try it. But it's really good. I really do enjoy it. 
Sky. It says apply to face and neck, which I do I always apply all my skincare to my neck um, as well because I feel like that's really good for your neck as well when you do it. But yeah, so that's all I have to say about that one. And then the last skincare item is one I got from Yes Style, and I am ambassador for them, and I do have a link in code, which I'll put down below at the bottom. But I won this in a good way. It's the Aloe Soothing Sunscreen S Sun Cream SPF 50. It's by Corex. That's what it looks like. Sorry about the white box. I keep everything in their boxes for some reason. I don't know why. But that's what the packaging looks like. Um, I really do enjoy the sunscreen. The smell smells very nice. It's not so sorry it cut me off. I said full storage. I had to go delete some old videos. I forgot to do that before I filmed this. I always do that. The two last videos that I do. If I, um, you know, remember. But then I, like I was saying, I really love the smell of this compared to this one. It doesn't smell like this um, sunscreen. It smells very soothing and refreshing. And it doesn't smell like regular sunscreen. So I really do enjoy it. I don't like sunscreen smelling strongly of sunscreen or anything else. So, if it's a nice, refreshing smell, I can handle it. But that's all I have to say about that sunscreen. And the next item, which is the last item, that's my favorite. It's not a product. It's a item. I got this in a Fruit for Thought box, and I really love this. It's a little headband, spa headband, and I love these headbands, but this one's really soft. I love the cute little cherry prints on it and the little pink color. It's very good. I love using this when I do my skincare in the morning, and it's by the Vintage cosmetic company which I never got anything from this brand before but I really love this headband so yeah I want to thank Fruit for Thought for sending me that box I really do appreciate it I was so happy when I won but that is all my favorites and some of my flops for the month so let me know if you did enjoy this video I just want to share this out because I love telling y'all products I've been loving and not loving and hope y'all did enjoy that, that, that part of the video and let me know if you enjoyed the masking as well um, I really did enjoy it and really loved this mask and I can't wait to use it again sometime and I want to thank Lori for wanting to do a mud mask this week and again make sure you go check her out I'll link her at down below and her video link so you can go check her out and show her some love and tell her I sent you if you're new to her and also if you click that hashtag that's in my title it'll go to recent videos of anybody that joins in on face mask friday if you do want to join in on face mask friday and you are on youtube or you can do it over on Instagram, just put the hashtag. Just let us know by tagging us in our, your first video and using that hashtag in your title. We would love to see you there and go watch your videos. Also, if you want to watch any of my past videos of Face Mask Friday, I will link the playlist down below so you can go check it out and show us some love. And I will link the playlist for favorites as well, just in case you want to watch any other videos of that, like that. And I think that is it. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you enjoyed seeing me masking while showing some favorites and flops. I'd love to know. And if you want more videos like this, let me know. And I can try to collect some more if I do get more products in. I love doing them. And I think they're a great way to hear my thoughts before I finish them. But you can always wait until I do an empties video. Because once I empty products, I'll let you know if I liked it or didn't like it and all that stuff. So, yeah. Um, also, um, don't forget to subscribe to our Uniform Family. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload. And unicorns, always be yourself. Bye.